uh, the auction this morning was very lively. The prices were high. Blue Rose sold for, uh, well, with a premium, about $2.4 million. Uh, and so I uh, think that, that if that Blue Rose had been a lesser uh, modernist, it would have been uh, uh, $20 million. Uh, but anyway, I understand that the prices, uh, it, are you all suffering a little bit because of the economy? Uh, you probably are, but, but maybe it's not such a bad thing it's to, shake out, to shake out some things. And, and one of the things is that steamroller of the, uh, uh, and I'm going to use a word that I just hate, contemporary art. Because I don't, we're the contemporary artists that we are, okay? And we won't lose that word. That's a word that's being hijacked. You know the word mo uh, modern, uh, a la mode uh, of the day, or uh, contemporary of the day? And uh, uh, they, they hijacked the previous word modern, and now they're going to hijack contemporary. Don't let them. We just changed the name of the 86th Annual uh, Spring Salon to uh, Contemporary Utah Art. Okay, because we're the contemporary artists as much as uh, they are, and we are uh, together. That's great. Right. It's the second question, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's interesting you, what you happened. Okay, I'm well, interesting what happened is that uh, 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 the 19th century is down about 25% across the board, okay, in price uh, during these market times. Ah, what do you think modernism, uh, postmodern, post poor, and contemporary modern is now? 50%, double, the, yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 the gloss has been corroded, that, that the burnish has been tarnished, and uh, it's well, not saying, and I think the lie of, sure. of, of, the, of the money, the, of the pile of money, and the amount of money that they're losing, somebody's got to think twice about what's happening. The, still the numbers are huge, but um, I think they're wrapped. Right, I'm waiting for the crash though. Well, you know, we would I hope. Keep, you know, I keep uh, looking and waiting for it. It's down the road. <laughs> right, you guys, I, I, want to get, I want to get back to the, to the term contemporary art. That's, yeah. that's my next question. And uh, um, so, uh, anyways, it, you know, so I, I think it, it was, was it Henry Flynn who was the one who coined the term conceptual art? Maybe. Uh, and he, but anyway, anyways, he, I mean, the interesting thing is he, uh, you know, in the essay that he wrote, he felt that maybe it shouldn't even be called art. Oh. Shouldn't even be called art in the first place. And they pulled something that's been, you know, it's stuck, and, and here we are. But the next question is, is about the word contemporary art. And uh, so, so Jacob, uh, how appropriate is the use of the term contemporary to describe just an officially sanctioned by the establishment singular part of the cultural process? If you want me to translate that, uh, I don't think it should. I, I, I don't know if I 100% agree. With where I'm, I mean, I understand. I, I, I certainly see the and the strength of your of your point. But the idea of naming your work contemporary doesn't seem so great to me, because if I say my work is contemporary, then I'm labeling it 2010, which will mean that in 2020 it looks 10 years dated. So I'm not interested in making my work look particularly contemporary. I don't want it to look so now that it will be like having your picture of yourself with a fat tie. I can say, hey, I was really thinking that you as a contemporary artist, not right. your work. Right. I happen to be contemporary. Yeah. There's nothing I can do about that. But my goal, I, I don't think the artists that I'm thinking about or that, I was think, that I've been thinking about since I was about 11 years old were thinking of themselves as contemporary. I think the fact that modern art, the word modern art and its, you know, uh, stepchild, contemporary, um, came into use at the moment when the concern with modernity as a particular virtue uh, uh, came about. It's not an accident. And it, that's not the idea of trying to be more modern than someone else. Uh, I'll leave that to someone else. I don't want to particularly be more modern. I just want to try to do something as beautifully and touchingly and whatever other thing I'm thinking about. Uh, and if, if I get caught up in whether it's I mean, some kind of contemporary sweepstakes, I'm just going to lose anyway, because everyone loses that game. Uh, well, the only thing I have to say is that uh, uh, it's, it's true that contemporary 
it means of the day, I mean, of now, uh, you know, what's, what's happening now, who's alive, and uh, those are the blood that, that uh, there is, uh, we just had a show at the 86th Daniel Spring Salon, and the juror for that show, we used to have a, a traditional juror, Michael Christensen, and another juror who was on the modern side, and uh, she, uh, as she was leaving, I pointed out a picture that was in our permanent collection, and it was a gorgeous painting of, of a Canadian waterfall by Belmore Brown, a California uh, a painter of the 1920s. Absolutely wonderful painting. And I said, uh, how, how do you like the painting? And she said to me, she said, well, I, I really don't know because I haven't read much theory on, on this uh, uh, period of time. And so I can't tell you what I think exactly. I don't know. Okay, today, or we say, might say contemporary, that is, right now, uh, the, the, the mode of thinking of uh, the uh, of modernist is that uh, uh, everything, theory trumps everything. Uh, not the work of art, not the artist, not the history of the art, but the history of the ideas that 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 is a miasma around any period. And she had to understand the theory before she was able to appreciate the art. And I felt so sad that contemporary uh, 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 criticism, getting back to criticism, but really disallowed her the ability to look at a simple painting and say, that is nice, isn't it? That's wonderful. I'm not I'm I've uh, forgotten how to look at it. Yeah, I'm not. Well, I, I'm not sure the word contemporary is so bad to describe the realist revolution. Uh, you know, I think contemporary is different from using the word like modern or modernist. Th those words are about an intellectual apparatus and also a, his a distinct history. Yeah, yeah. Contemporary describes, what as you say, what's happening today of the times. And I think it's good to be reminded that this is a movement of today. And if you therefore are, let's say, in the cultural institution, and you say, what's going on in contemporary art? You say, this is what's going on in contemporary art. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, no, my sense that means it, it's, it's very simple. Uh, it's, it's defined in the dictionary, someone or something from the same period. And so what it is, uh, any attempt, now, if, for my turn of thought or not, uh, any attempt, to limit the use of the term shall be considered a willful privatization of ultimate public domain in case for special interest. Nobody can privatize our common language through linguistic equilibristics. That's a good point. Yeah. Good point. That's, that's the only problem. I, think I would agree with that. I don't want to be particularly con contemporary. It's just that I, you, 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 you can't. No, I don't want this sort of. The argument that, that uh, it's a soul. It's, it's a privatization of terms. And if you think about, if you think about uh, the implications of that, if we took the concept of a rebellious modernity out of the current establishment, no, it's a lie. It's now the expression of official body, governing body of a threat, of oppressive power. But it's one uh, with a, one leg shot out of the chair. But if you take suddenly, with a clear, hopefully intelligent look, impartial, hopefully journalistic look at the issue, if privatization of the term, enforcement of the way we think, as a group, we're forced to accept certain things that are outside of our logic judgment because they impose them on us by power group. We lose our freedom one decision at a time. So, but the implication of, of disallowing this privatized... You're absolutely right. My, my main thought is, yeah. I'd love for you to fight that fight. I just no. feel like... <laughs> I just feel like it's devastating to the artist. To me, I don't... I, I can't be... Somebody's got to be out there fighting that fight, and I totally agree with you. But, but you are fighting the fight. But you're fighting the fight. But, but the, 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 the danger is, well, underneath this idea of 